build up to this. They've known for about a good month now that they're coming to St George's Park. They've been overly excited the last few four, three, four weeks. When the, the lads uh, first arrived today, and you know, the look at some of the guys' faces if, as they got up the mini bus, um, they were a bit in awe of the place. You know, obviously read about it in, in the newspapers, etc. And then as we made our way around doing the tour. You know, it's inspired some of the guys to, to start looking at, you know, coach education and, you know, doing something different and challenging themselves. So clearly it's a, it's a motivational place and an inspiring place and I'm definitely sure they're going to remember this for a long time. There's a consortium of four organisations. Uh, obviously CPR Solutions is one of them. The other organisation is Saltley Stallions and you've got Continental Star and another organisation called Kick It Pathways. What we've done, all the stakeholders have come together and all the different extracts they've, they've actually done. This has made it happen. It wasn't a simple task of just picking up the phone and turning up here. There was a lot of um, um, work had to be done. And the other guys did a lot of work on the ground. That was mainly uh, Lincoln, Lincoln Moses from Continental Star and Abad Hussain from Saltley Stallions. We sat down around the table and uh, we discussed the ideas and we sat down together and I think it's, com it's coming to fruition now. As you can see, today's event has been fantastic so far. Our role within the community is to try and provide a support network, you know, whether it be for players or coaches. You know, I think it's important that we provide a support network that gives individuals um, the confidence to grow and to challenge themselves and to challenge those around them, which ultimately has an impact on their community and you know, it's good for the game. I'm particularly proud of um, the lads who are out there now. Some of them come from disadvantaged areas and to see them enjoying, enjoying themselves and you know, engaging one another is fantastic. I think what we're witnessing here today, you know, pure evidence that, you know, football can act as a vehicle to, to break down boundaries, you know, whether they be between different communities, but the integration that's taking place, you know, has been fantastic and, you know, again, you know, football's a good driver um, to break down some of the barriers that exist. Hal Al, as he just says, he's one of the 51st um, refugees under the UN banner to come to the UK. And he was introduced to myself by Councillor uh, Wasim Zafara. I think one of the things that really is unique about St George's Park is that you know whenever you visit the place, you know you'll see grassroots managers uh, mixing with Premier League managers, international footballers. You know there really is a, a, a mix of, of you know players and coaches here from all levels of the game, and you know I think that's what's unique about the place that it really does bring the whole football family together. This is the home of the FA, 19 million pound spent, and these young lads who's only been in the country a short period of time is now on the same playing surface as the Roonies of this world. And I think that's kind have been you know uh, exhibited here today where you've got lads where you know their playing experience is obviously not international but they're getting to use international facilities and you know to, to see the same things that England international players you know see when, when they're called up for international duty. But it's best really if we, if we train them as leaders give them the experience and then they can go back into the community and um, carry on with the good work. We're looking to sustain the project in terms of the young people, using the young people. It's all comes down to the Home Office. I mean, they've entrusted us to deliver this project, and I hope we're fulfilling uh, their, uh, you know, their goals of what, how the project should go. Uh, I'm, I'm Hilal. I'm from Syria. I came to here uh, eight months ago. Uh, about uh, government here, but uh, bring me to here because I got out from Syria to Jordan. It was difficult for me, so. British government uh, had me to come to you. The experience has been amazing. But it's just, um, I wish it was a bit longer so we can enjoy this experience a bit more. It's very nice, it's a good experience for me. It's my first time to come here. I'm really happy, I enjoy Very nice for me. The message I would have is someone like Halal. Be patient, it will happen, because sometimes we get, we want things to happen before it's, it's meant to, and we just says be patient and keep digesting everything you've learned, because once you've done that, that will put your heads and above other, other people out there. It's different because, I don't know, my training section and that one is different because he showed me new things, never I did. I want to thank them to uh, make me the opportunity to the opportunity to uh, 
to, to come here. And again, so I think one thing today's done is give the guys a little bit of aspiration in terms of, you know, well, is, is this what it's about? You know, I really want to be a part of something like this moving forward. And so they've been encouraged to, to look at what paths are available to them. And hopefully as a county, if I will be able to, you know, provide that support that they need. You know, our ethos is to create opportunity for those who under normal circumstances wouldn't have those opportunities. Those opportunities, all they need is, is, is someone to open the door for them and let them utilise what's been put in front of them. Myself, I know personally how, how it feels. Uh, it's a very inspiring place. I'm sure my other colleagues have mentioned uh, you know, how long it, take, it took to get this place up and running. Um, it, it motivates a lot of young people, motivates young and old people to, to participate in sport or become better people so they can be community champions, community leaders. So yeah, I have definitely been here before and it still inspires me to this day.